Stand by for release of the hold. Five seconds now from picking up the count. Three, two, one. T minus four minutes and counting. Launch vehicle now going internal. Complete. SSC perform vehicle arm. Active. Complete. SSC second stage Camry better charging off. SSC perform third stage internal transfer. Active. Complete. OSM Sol Motor SNA arm permit closed. Closed. FSC ground Sol Motor ignition SNA arm. Keep my arm three minutes. FSC ground Sol Motor SEP SNA arm. Arm. FSC. Airlit ignitions SNA arm. Arm. FSC airlit SEP SNA arm. Arm. OSM third stage SNA arm permit closed. Closed. SSC third stage SNA arm. Arm. Prop one vehicle fuel tank press open. Open. Prop 1, fuel umbilical verge open. Open. FSC, bet 1, heater control exit. Exit. FSC, bet 2, heater control exit. Exit. NSC, report spacecraft go. Spacecraft is go. A minus 2 minutes. Prop 1, pressurize first stage locks tank to relief. Pressurizing. 110 seconds. Crop two, top first stage locks to 100%. Topping to 100%. Coming up on the T minus 90 second mark. 90 seconds. SSC hydraulic external power on. On. Eighty seconds. RCR report range go for launch. Range is go for launch. LCDR, this is LVD, go for launch. Roger. Seventy seconds. SSC hydraulics internal. On internal. T minus one minute. LCDR countdown limit conditions. T minus sixty seconds on. On. One hundred percent lock. Forty-five seconds. CLCDR LC-17B launch enable flight. Flight. ATC-3 main power disable on. On. Thirty-five seconds. Leg drive go. Hydraulics go. Thirty seconds. T minus thirty seconds now. T minus twenty-five. Twenty seconds. Green board here in the Mission Director Center. Topping underway. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Delta rocket with opportunity. A chance to explore and unlock the secrets of our neighboring planet. The transient set liftoff. Engine position looks good. Recovering nicely from the liftoff transients, and the solid rocket motors are increasing their thrust during their 75 second burn. Main engine chamber pressure is holding steady, and the vernier engines are continuing to burn well. And we're now past the Mark 1. The vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. So we now are entering the Max Q 
portion of our flight where the vehicle encounters the greatest aerodynamic forces. Jupiter Inlet Station now has a signal. Main engine continues to burn well. Solids are tapering off their thrust. Approximately 20 more seconds left of uh, the burning of the first uh, ground lid solid rocket motors. Engine positions continue to look nominal. Vehicles tracking right down the center of the range tracking. Here we have burnout of the solid rocket motors on the air on the ground lid, and we have air starts of all three solid rocket motors and separation of the six ground lid solid rockets. It's the voice of Ted Jones in the telemetry lab. Engine, main engine continues to burn well. Front of your engines continue to burn. And the three airlift solids are continuing to burn symmetrically with equal amounts of thrust. T plus 116 seconds. Pass through T plus 130 seconds, altitude is 25 miles, downrange distance 65 miles, and our velocity is 5,200 miles per hour. Two minutes, 10 seconds into the mission. The LOX tank press event, and we do see a slow rise in the liquid oxygen tank pressure, as expected. Light controls are really smooth now as we move in the upper atmosphere. The engine continues to burn smoothly, constant chamber pressure. The airlit solids have uh, burned out and separated. We have separation of the airlit solids. And we see just a little bit of disturbance during that separation, but uh, nothing much to report there. It's very smooth. Vehicles recovered nicely as we continue to burn. T plus three minutes. We're getting good, nice, uh, clean video from the uh, video camera from the uh, rocket. And right now our altitude is uh, 43 miles, downrange distance 170 miles, and our velocity is now over 8,600 miles per hour. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the mission. First stage continues to burn well. We have approximately um, 40 seconds left of this burn. Everything continuing to go well. We're expecting um, our Miko Enable and approximately 10 seconds. That is the main engine cutoff for the first stage. After which it will fall away. The float switches, and we've enabled Miko, main engine cutoff, and we're standing by for main engine cutoff, and we have main engine cutoff. Verniers continue to burn. Verniers have cut off. And we have stage one, two separation. Standing by for stage two ignition. And we see stage two ignition. And we have separation of the payload fairing. This is Ted Jones in our And looking at the uh, separation uh, accelerometers, looks good on the separation. The chamber pressure on the second stage engines looking good, nice and sol solid and steady. Velocity appears to be right on the money. Hydraulic pressure used to steer the, the uh, second stage engines looking good. Passing.
Boeing. Uh, past uh, 5 minutes 45 seconds, altitude is now 77 miles, downrange distance 623 miles, and velocity is nearly 14,700 miles an hour. Official liftoff uh, time was uh, zero three hours eighteen minutes fifteen point zero seven zero seconds. And we've now switched to our Antigua tracking station, and we anticipate having data from Antigua for the next five minutes until it flies out of range. Continued to burn well in the second stage. Chamber pressure continues to hold up. picture is looking up toward the Murby spacecraft, the third stage. And there's Seco 2, second stage engine cutoff. The hydraulic system is powered off. We have normal bleed down. That's the solar arrays of the crew stage that we're looking up at and the third stage made it uh, beneath it. Okay, we're standing by for the next event to spin up the third stage. It'll rotate before it separates from the second stage. Standing by for third stage ignition, the next event. We have third stage ignition. Third stage is burning well, we've got good data. Nice clean, clean data, nice burn. This is approximately one and a half minute burn. Continue to see a good video, or excuse me, good uh, chamber pressure. Now we're starting to uh, come down a little bit in the chamber pressure as expected. It's 45 seconds, mission elapsed time. This is Delta Launch Control.
commentary. 